In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a great website like Math is Fun and then add in fully interactive graphs using Desmos. So here we have a slider bar so students can kind of explore how it is that they, as they change A, what the graph looks like, and then when they go over to the graph, they can also then kind of inspect any point along that line. So let's get started. This is the equation that's in Math is Fun. So we have x squared is equal to 4ay, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And for creating this interactive graph, I'll delete our old one there, uh, we're going to use this free tool called Desmos. Uh, you can sign in with Google with your Google account, which is great. Uh, and this way it'll save all of your graphs. Students can also make their own graphs as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste in the code that we, or that equation that we got before. So we've got a, now you can see right here, so it says, sorry, we didn't understand that. And that's just because it lost that it was squared. So I'm going to delete the two and then do the up um, arrow. I'm not quite sure the official name, but it's above the six. So I'm going to hold down shift and then the above six. And then I will type in squared. And now here's prompting me if I wanted to add in a slider for A. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and do that. So I'll click on that right there. And in this equation, they set it so that um, they're going to have it so that A is equal to 200. So going back over to my graph, I'm going to go ahead and I can modify that to be 200. Uh, so now we've got our sliders like quite a bit. And I'm going to zoom out here uh, so we can get a better view. OK, so this is the graph that I want to embed in, into um, our lesson. And so students are now going to be able to click on that little slider and then kind of see if, like, right, as they change the value of A, how does that affect the graph? So to embed it, we're going up here to share graph. Um, this embed code right here is just going to be doing an image. We don't want that. Now we're going to get a little bit techy here. So if you're one of the teachers out there that's doing hour of code with your students, this is great because you're going to be showing them that you know how to code. We're going to turn this link into an iframe. So open bracket, and we're going to type in iframe. We're going to set a height. So height is equal to parentheses 500. So this will be 500 pixels high. If you want it to be shorter, you can obviously change that or taller. Uh, and then SRC, that stands for source. So SRC equal double parentheses. And now if you press the up arrow on your keyboard, the cursor goes to the beginning. I'm going to press the down arrow on the keyboard so it goes to the end. Closing parentheses, closing bracket. And now we have to close our iframe, so open bracket, um, and then we're going to backslash iframe and close that. Okay, there we go. So this is our iframe code. Way to go, everybody. You just did some coding. We're going to copy that and heading back over to our math is fun. I've already loaded in Docent Edu. I'm going to click on the sticky note, and I want to embed it right after there. And we'll just paste in that code that you created. Desmos will go ahead and load in all the amazing math that it does. And there it is. So now students can play around with this. They can drag the little slider, view that, uh, and if they hide this list, and they're going to have a little bit more, um, a little more room to kind of explore. And they have all the same functions. They can zoom in and out. They can actually modify this thing right here as well. Um, so they could do a, a whole variety of things. Let's say if we wanted, instead of like squared, we want to change this to B. And now it's like, hey, do you want to add in a slider? Yes, we do. So now students are going to find out, oh, this was a bad example, right? So now we can kind of modify it as they change B. How does that affect the graph? So that is how you add a fully interactive Desmos graph into any web page.